Let's talk about what parallel and perpendicular lines mean. Um, here we have some examples of parallel lines and we have our definition also. It says two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal and they have different y-intercepts. Vertical lines are parallel if they have different x-intercepts. Basically, you can look at a picture and you can see that these uh, lines are following side by side each other. They are never going to cross, never going to touch, because they are both, if they have the same slope, then that means that they're going to be going you know, up and over by the same amount all the way through. Well, as long as that happens, then they're never going to touch. So that's what makes a parallel line. Now. You can kind of think about this as lanes of traffic. You know, if, if our lanes of traffic, if one was going this way and the other one was going this way, then we'd have to have a stop sign because there's no way. <laughs> your, your cars would crisscross and we'd end up having massive wrecks. So that won't work. When our lanes of traffic, though, run side by side each other, everything runs very smoothly. Okay, so let's see if, let's pretend like we knew that we had a slope of a line at 2. The parallel slope to that would then have to also be 2, because in order for them to be parallel lines, they have to have that same exact slope. Now, in contrast to that, we have perpendicular lines, and this is an example of a perpendicular line. It says two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative 1. All right, that makes a whole lot of sense, right? Let's do it an easier way. Alternatively, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. That right there is the key. Negative reciprocals of each other. That's what we're going to be looking for. These also, when you have perpendicular lines, it creates 90 degree angles in here. So it's kind of like an intersection. All right, let's um, just for um, kind of an example's sake, let's say that you knew that we had a slope at 2 and you wanted to know what was the perpendicular slope to that. Well, remember perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So the negative meaning the opposite sign. So this sign is positive, so my perpendicular slope would have to be negative and then we have to do the reciprocal. So instead of 2, it would be 1 half. Now another example, let's say that our original slope was negative 4 fifths. Then if I wanted to find the perpendicular slope, and this notation is just notation for perpendicular, um, just like earlier I drew um, those lines like that, that's kind of notation for parallel. All right, so our perpendicular slope back here is the negative, which just means the opposite sign. Our original slope was negative, so our perpendicular slope is going to have to be the opposite sign, or positive. And then the reciprocal, so it would be a positive 5 fourths. Now in the next video, we're going to learn how to tell whether lines are perpendicular or parallel.